Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. Uh, EDC Deb. Everyday carry daily essential bags. Now, I was carrying one. Um, and the, the strap was too short. The last one I talked about. I was talking about, you know, make, making a strap longer. And um, maybe looking at. Goodwill or thrift stores to find a, a couple of uh, webbing type belts to turn into a strap and whatnot. Turns out webbing's expensive. Webbing's expensive to buy in a roll. Belts, the Goodwill down here, they want four dollars for a belt. That would have been eight dollars if I got if I could have found two belts that matched or were similar, which was way more than what I paid for the bag. <laughs> so anyway. Uh, as I was looking at Goodwill for those type bags, I came across this one. Now, this is a sling bag. And uh, it's made by, oh, I can't read it now. In case. It's an older one. I looked it up online. Um, I can't find this one in particular. Most of their bags run $100 or more. Um, I paid $2 for this one. And although it's older, it looked like it was in like almost brand new. It didn't look like it had ever really been used. So let's go over it a little bit. It's got a decent strap. Nice and wide. It's actually long enough for the bag itself. I did take this pad thing off of another one of my belts or another one of my bags because it does help. I have a lot of shoulder problems. Skinny straps and even you know even these wider straps when they pull down on my shoulder they give me they give me fits. So I've got a whistle attached. Um, a bandana. Bandanas come in handy all the time. This has a little quick access pouch over on this side. And I've got a flashlight and my SOG that I've stopped carrying in my pocket. There's a pouch on the back. There's a little bit of padding. There's a pouch. In that pouch I put a piece of Kydex that I mounted my little sheath knife to. Uh, let's see. We have uh, a triangle, steak and shake, um, gift card that's no good. I used it the other night when I took the grand brats out. Actually, it was my daughter's or it belonged to one of the grand brats or something. I don't remember. But anyway, uh, we went the other night to steak and shake. My checkbook should have gone back in the house. Uh, gourmet selects uh, tuna. I'll probably end up eating this when I'm done videoing. Um, let's see what else I got. Turn it off back here. Uh, a baggie, big baggie. Just you never know. And a business card. I'm supposed to go check this guy out up in Fleming Island. So that's that. I'll put that back away in a little while. Uh, now, this is, I'm not sure what kind of material this is. It feels like a nylon. It's a bit padded. It's got a nice Velcro closer on it. Comes up and there is a little pouch here. And then there's room for a couple of pencils and pens. I have three pens and a pencil. This one is actually one of my minis. In here I have, let's see, there's a thing of off, there's a, this is a pair of spare uh, glasses that my brother gave me, um, little reader cheaters, there's uh, some alcohol wipes and some handy wipes, just because you never know.
Uh, there is a zipper compartment here. And in there, there's just, this is a small screwdriver thing. I don't know why I carry it, I almost never use it. Attached to the side, there's another small knife. One is none, two is one. Uh, let's see. Got another small pocket in the front. I have a um, little notebook. A couple more handy wipes. This is a, an old glasses case. It's got a nail file attached to it. I use that for all kinds of things. I, I like to hone a knife with it, but also when I chip my nails or whatever, because, yeah, I don't cut my nails as often as I should. But, um, yeah, I got that in there, and just a spare rubber band. It works. It's got most, mostly it's got change in it. There's probably three or four dollars worth of change in there. Oh, uh, let's see. A thing of, um, Hand cleaner. I keep refilling this one because it's got tape around it. I keep using up the tape too. <laughs> but anyway. Um, let's see. I have, this is an old watch case. And inside of that there are hair bands. Because I've got long hair. Now, I watched a video a while ago, I forget who it was, one of the urban prepper type guys, and he had a big satchel type um, everyday carry bag. And he used folders. I'm going to do my other folder. He used these binders, these binder bags, you know, that go inside of school bags to differentiate um, different components. And it's funny, I was planning on doing this video today, and one of the guys that I've subscribed to, and uh, he's, I think he's subscribed to me, um, a young channel, Threads, T H R E A D S, I'll add a link eventually down in the description box. Um, he found a similar Thing at Walmart, only it doesn't have the bag. Uh, this actually has two compartments. It has a compartment in the front that I keep the earbuds in. In this one, purple for power. The ones that he found only have one. Only have one compartment. I got these at five below, two for a buck. Um, in the here I have power cord for my phone, an extension cord, uh, another power cord for my phone, power charger, a power bank, and a plug-in charger thing. I actually used these the other day when I was at my daughter's um, they went out, so I got to sit with the with their seven-year-old, almost eight-year-old, and I took the other eight-year-old with, and that's where we ended up with the steak and shake or whatever, whatever. But um, let's see. Yeah, okay. Here's the other one. This one is now. These were they were two for a buck. I think I got six, but only two of them really fit in this bag. I could probably jam more in. I'm really trying to cut back. This has my uh, fork and spoon that I got from, I'm pretty sure I picked these up at Dollar Tree. The front compartment also has my spices and my aspirin. 
put that back in there. And then in here is just a few miscellaneous things. There's uh, some more off wipes, a magnifying glass with a flashlight. There it goes. One of y'all sent me. And I'm sorry, I'm terrible with names. Um, some more aspirin. This is just a uh, cheapy glow, glow stick. <coughs> Excuse me. In a small uh, test tube, plastic test tube type thing. They, this actually came with adult beverage in it. And then I've got a couple of these little stainless steel pokey things. Anything else in there? Oh, a purple napkin. So, I'm really trying to cut down on what I carry. And I like this bag. I've been carrying this for, I don't know, at least two weeks now. And uh, I'm really, I'm really rather happy with it. I'm keeping it um, lighter. I don't have, I don't have a ton of stuff in it. Um, but and it's 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 a fairly, it's a nice bag. So for right now, um, I'm kind of happy with this bag. I, I don't know if I want to go smaller. I, mean, I've got, I go smaller, I go bigger, I go smaller, I go bigger. I'm trying to find the right one. And, uh, man, I know what women go through now. You know, they find a, they find one bag that they really like and then they stick with it. You know, until it's falling apart. Um, but, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a search. I'm still not, like I said, I'm still not 100% sure. I'll put this back in the snow. Put these in there. And this in there. Um, but for now, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with it. So. Uh, I started adding this Kydex. It, Kydex is basically just a plastic. I started doing this with one of my softer bags. And it helps the bag stand up. But it also helps, like with something like this knife, that there's no place to really clip it safely. Um, I can clip it to this. I can also clip other things to it that have the, have the clips. But then I wanted a little bit more security so that I can grab the knife without it coming off. So I just drilled a couple holes in the Kydex and, and uh, stitched it in place. Let's see, it needs to go that way. It's really easy to work with. I mean, you only need, you only need a razor blade to cut it. And then you can go along and um, smooth the edges out with a, with a lighter or whatever. So... There you go, folks. Another EDC DEB bag. Everyday carry daily essential bag. Uh, so, oh, I forgot my drive on beads. Um, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around on your social media, that'd be Fandoculus. If you'd like to check me out on Facebook, Imager, or Instagram, I'll have links in the description box below eventually. Um, you'll also find links to similar videos like all my other bags that I've gone through. <laughs> uh, 
also find uh, my snail mail and my email address. Um, if you want to send me, I've seldom checked my email, although with this new phone gizmo and hooked up to Google, I get my Gmail uh, notifications more. Um, <coughs> excuse me. If you want to send me snail mail, I love getting snail mail. Doesn't matter what it is, could be just a postcard. Um, send me some rocks, send me a book of matches, whatever. As long as it's not junk mail, um, I'd, I'll, I'll be I'll be a happy man. Uh, actually, send me your junk mail. You know, uh, well, no, don't do that. That's a waste of money. Um, <laughs> uh, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, cancer is an insidious disease. Breast cancer, no more or less than any other. But it will rock your world. It really will. Um, breast cancer doesn't just affect women. It affects, I think, one in a thousand men are affected by breast cancer. Um, children are affected by it. It doesn't just affect your breast. It can start, you, you can first notice it when it moves into your lymph nodes, which are in your armpit or in your neck or down in your groin. Um, yeah, it, it, it's terrible. Uh, like I said, all cancers are insidious. I have a young friend who is undergoing his second bout of chemo right now to battle colon cancer and uh, thoughts and prayers, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, if your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, people. If you're strange, forgive, forget, apologize. You may not get another chance. Maybe they won't get another chance. Maybe it'll be you perusing the handbook for the recently deceased. I hope not. I hope to see y'all again. And until I do, <coughs> slouchy, y'all. Bye bye.